What's up, everybody? How's it going? Happy Thursday. It's almost Friday. That's tomorrow. No, I'm not buried. Sorry, I was trying to uh, get situated here. Uh, who's first? Scott, how's it going? Scott's first again. Whoa. Marie, Justin, Jameson. What's going on? Money for Mars. You busy? Thrill to hunt. Diesel, Blackberry, Hearted, Dixie, Flipper, Pamela. Hey, Ma, what's up? Anchor Journey. So I was just actually inventorying some of my hats. So if you saw that video earlier, I went through, showed you what I picked up, why I picked it up, different teams to look for. I'll give a little more insight as we go along as I buy some more sports stuff. But uh, I was just actually inventorying my hats. Uh, I had 45 of the Charger hats, 35 of the Browns hats, eight of the snapbacks, and one beanie. I was shorted one hat. I should have gotten two. So I was charged for 89 or 90. I only got 89. I should have had another one of these. I just emailed the guy and I said, hey, short an item. Not a big deal. Uh, just to let you know, I was short a beanie. So not too bad. So shorted. It was only $8.90. Shipping was only $28. So shipping from there is awesome, and I get it pretty much the next day, depending on what time I order it. So, yeah, 89 items from that hat lot. Uh, all brand new with tags, nothing crossed out, which is great. Uh, sometimes you get stuff, merchandise that's crossed out in the UPC or tag. This one was not. Uh, well, how So, again, in the chat, guys, let's see how you did today. How many sold items did you have? Uh, I had one Poshmark, took a best offer of, I think it was $15. What's up, Rustin? How's it going? Flipping particles. How's it going, guys? Uh, I just got something on Poshmark now. Let's see. Probably someone just liked me. Yeah, someone's following me. Darren, thanks for the $2. Uh, nice. You're March, I think, 15th or 16th. So for those of you that are looking at going, hopefully we'll see you there. Uh, otherwise, we'll do some videos from there. I'll get you some more books. But uh, back to solds. Um, one on Poshmark. Four, three, three on eBay. I'm waiting for one to pay. So Chris said three. Nice. Flipping particles for eBay, six Amazon. Oh, I had one Amazon. I had another micro cassette recorder sell. Pamela, nice. Pamela's crushing it. 15 and three for tomorrow. Hard Dicks Field Part 2. That's great, guys. Get movement. Did anyone have zero sales? I'd be interested to see how many people. Uh, it sounds like we get consistent sales day to day. Uh, but yeah, anyone not have any? Uh, I was. Someone offered me. Oh, offer. Look at that. Two today, waiting on payment. One. I had two we're waiting for payment the other day. Hopefully, they'll pay here soon. Rusted only had one. One on Posh. Steve Young jersey. Whoa. $189? Is that for real? That's awesome, Tony. Uh, let's see. Uh, I just got an offer on a Wii game. Paper Mario. So, a lot of the Mario games, if you find them, if you find Super Smash Brothers for, uh, what is it? GameCube, that sells really well. All right, here's my $10 offer. I'm probably going to rebuttal at $14.99. Paper Mario, you guys can find Paper Mario for the Wii. I'm trying to get a larger picture for you. There you go. Paper Mario, you guys find that. I have it listed for $20. Bucks. Uh, it's, it holds uh, still holds some value. I'll counter at $14.99. Uh, there we go. Let that go. All right, so... I had a double bag haul from Goodwill. This was actually from the other day. I have not sold, uh, showed you yet. I have not inventoried it. It's still sitting down there. I got all the stuff I showed you yesterday listed. I'm going to get my hats up tonight. Flipping Particles says three for tomorrow. Vintage trucker jacket. Awesome. I like the stuff that you have for a while that finally sells. $60. That's a great pick. That's a great uh, sold. Great sold item. All right. So I spent, look at this one. This was a big one. So two bags. $91.05. Let's 
Let's throw that right here and make sure to line everything up. Uh, oh, another update before we jump into that. This scale for my liquidation lot, uh, brand new. Brand new. If you're looking to buy liquidation stuff, I recommend you have these batteries in stock. I use them all the time. Actually, I got this in the liquidation lot a while ago. 2035s. No, I'm sorry. Upside down. 2032s. I was like, that's not a five. 2032 batteries. Make sure you have those. It took two of these. So I'm gonna list with um with new batteries. I actually put it local too. Uh and I have four boxes of liquidation. Uh we'll have four videos of liquid liquidation. So stay tuned. I got them all today, all at once. Came from Plainfield, Indiana. Uh Plainfield, Indiana for me to Ohio is pretty much next day. Uh so they're pretty good at shipping stuff out. Can't even recognize numbers. Yeah, Craig. I know. Uh, it was backwards. Did not have a sale. Yeah, Darren moved. Darren, you moved places, so you've been pretty much uh, trying to get situated. I don't blame you. All right, so $91. Let's see what I picked up. I did sell a hoodie. Uh, what hoodie did I sell? I sold a hoodie, I thought. And I thought of you guys because I keep saying hoodies sell. Uh, where was it? It was the other night. Was it the other night? I forget. I thought I sold it. Maybe I'm waiting on payment for it. Uh, picked up another one of these hoodie sweatshirts. This is made by uh, Russell. Not expecting much for it, but Miami Red Hawks. It is hoodie. It's a cool color. Picked up that one. This is from my... Where did I get this from? I think I got this from one of my awesome thrift stores. This one I get a lot from. Uh, picked up an Under Armour compression shirt. Size small. This is not the mock turtleneck. The mock turtleneck sells well for me. Uh, this kind of cool it has Under Armour on the back. But uh, if you guys can find these heat, uh, what's this, cold gear? Yeah, the cold gear. That's what it looks like. Cold gear, pick these up. Uh, usually I take best offer, lowest is 20 bucks. But you can, you can get 24 to 27, depending on condition. So that's, I love that one. Uh, this is a woman's top. I'm not expecting it to sell for much. It might sit for a while. It's an Adidas Climalite shirt. Uh, I like the color. Plus, it's Adidas, and it has Dublin Golf Club on it. So I just took a chance on that. That's my chance item. Just playing Adidas. It's uh, almost like spandex-esque. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So I, I took a chance on this. It's a size uh, size medium. But it, I don't know if it's a uh, it might be a regular medium, but it has it's all screened on. Uh, this is screened on this jersey. If you can find this jersey not screened on with patches, this sells for at least thirty nine, thirty nine to and upwards potentially. But uh, screened on, I'll probably only get twenty for it. Twenty four. Uh, it is size medium, but uh, otherwise it's all screened. But I could leave. I was about to leave it behind. I could not. This is also something I took a chance on. I took a lot of chances on this lot. Uh, this is a Ralph Lauren, but what was unique about it is look at the patches. They're like suede patches on the elbows and shoulders. Uh, where is it? Ralph Lauren, a Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Never purchased one of these before. Look at that. The, the zipper is kind of cool. Ralph Lauren on the zipper. Got to be careful because fur is going to get picked up on this. Uh, look at that shoulder pads with this i'm guessing it's either leather or suede i haven't read it up and it's got the patches on the elbows so i think this item right here is uh ideal for poshmark so it definitely will put it up on there uh i'll put it up for high with i say high like 39.99 or i don't know what would you guys list that for put in the chat what you guys would list this sweater for full zip up full zip Ralph Lauren by Ralph Lauren, size large, 100% cotton, and uh, exclusive of decoration. No idea what that means. All right, yeah, what would you guys list this for with the elbow patches? It does have pockets, too. Right there, it has uh, pockets. It's hard to tell. Cash flow is not flowing. Oh, you'll get there. Stuff will sell. I have my on and off days, but what would you guys list that for? Bad typing. 
49, 47.99 says Craig. I was thinking around there, give or take. I, I'm at least going to turn on best offer. All right, so here's the big bag. Big bag right here. Black versus 59. Oh, yeah, Pamela, good luck on your surgery. Keep us posted. Uh, you guys find this brand, Warrior, uh, lacrosse, hockey, especially shorts, lacrosse shorts. Uh, these are uh, University of Miami, and it's, it's unique because it has a player number on it, but it, they're Warrior, look, I'm guessing – Either I'm guessing the lacrosse or hockey, no idea. But uh, authentic warrior, you can see that on the tag. These sell pretty well. Uh, it's a unique school. It's not like a, a Duke or a um, big name university. I say big name University of Miami's. At least for hockey, it's pretty big. Uh, a couple of polo shirts I picked up, just some generic Under Armour. Uh, these are kind of bread and butter items. Plain ones, heat gear. I don't think there's any listings on this one. This one, we talk about unique schools. This Under Armour has the tags. Retail, 40 bucks. Uh, this is 3XL, and it's pristine, and it's ca uh, Capital University Basketball, which is uh, in Columbus. So I've had great success selling Capital University. Couldn't let that one go brand new with tags. It's got a unique design too on the side, down the side, a little gray area. So Under Armour, you can find some pretty cool things there. This is another plain Under Armour. It's a gray, blue striped, nothing spectacular about that one. Uh, we talked about this the other night. I found one of these Nike dry fits. This is another Nike dry fit, but this is also 3XL. And it looks like there's something right there. I can kind of see it now. But uh, Ohio State basketball. Someone's going to want that. Large sizes will carry some some value to it. Uh, this is kind of cool. So I think this is a – for the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, It's a, I think it's fundraisers. But uh, I'm, I'm finding this brand a lot, Level Wear. Some will sit for a little bit, some won't. I couldn't leave it behind because it was brand new with tags. Uh, I like this brand because you find, find a cool stuff on the zipper. Look at that. Wine and Gold United. like the colors, maroon. All right. Cle Cleveland Indians, Majestic. If you guys aren't picking up Majestic, pick them up. This is screened on. Uh, I sold a double XL. So this Majestic sells pretty well on Poshmark for me. Uh, so if you have Majestic and you're selling on Poshmark, make sure you get it up there. But this one's screened on. Great condition as well, unless I missed something. Look on the back there. It's got the gray on the, the, the sleeves. This, this was a lot, uh, a lot of large sizes when I picked up this. Uh, which I like. I like larger sizes. I'd rather go large than small. Uh, I find that the double XLs, triple XLs, they sell. I mean, remember that uh, Ezekiel Elliott jersey I sold that was 4XL? I got, uh, I think, 37 or 39 for that one. Yeah, Darren, your reservations have been set for ASD for about eight months. <laughs> uh, another Nike, what's this, Nike? Yeah, another Nike Golf, Ohio State basketball. Basketball. I don't know if the bearded pickers in the chat, but I picked this up, and I thought this was cool. This was 4XL. 4XL button up, and it's not buttoned. Hold on. Let me see if I can. I won't button it up, but look at that. It's a plain button up, but look at that. What did I say? 4XL? Yeah, 4XL. Red striped Alabama roll tide. Uh, button up shirt and I like it because it's 4XL so I could not leave that one behind uh, foot joy this is a this one I might wear for myself look at that cool color it's like a I want to say lime green there's no uh, no logos on it awesome color roll Clemson that is true they uh, they did roll all right 
Another foot joy. So I found a ton of foot joy in this lot. This one's a double XL. So that one's pretty big. No idea what that is. I'm guessing it's Firefox, which is a local golf course around here. Steven, what's up? Uh, I'm contemplating doing my uh, liquidation boxes taped. So make sure you have the bell turned on. They might come on during the day. Uh, I might do one or two live. Under Armour large logo. If you guys aren't picking these up, the large logos are the best Under Armour selling hoodies. Uh, they're the, actually the best selling hoodies I have. Uh, that's the number one. So, And then next is the little one I showed you earlier with the green. Pants. I tend to sh uh, shy away from pants. Why did I pick these up? Let me why did I pick these up? Oh, this is not pants. I have it upside down. This is Cutter and Buck. Jayhawks. It's actually a large size again. It's just got the unique uh, little logo on the chest, which is kind of cool. Uh, this is size. Oh, this is a large. Look at that. That's a big large. I don't wear large, but I could wear that. Heading to the bins tomorrow. Anchor Journey. Keep us posted. Uh... We find some nice stuff at the bins. Oh, yeah. Let me uh, – Pamela's going sourcing. Let me post this. If you guys aren't part of the group, here I'm posting this chat, make sure you join the group. We share bolos. We share stories. We share random best offers that uh, people offer a dollar. So make sure you head over there. I love when you guys share what stuff you find. Uh, Michigan, Michigan shirt. This is NCA shirt. Another super large size. Can't pass. Can't pass those up. Last thing I picked up. Look at this. This is stitches. I find a lot of stitches, uh, especially for the Chicago Cubs. That's a cool. This is actually embroidered in, which is nice. That's a cool sweatshirt, and it's a hoodie. Go figure. So. Hoodies do really well, guys. I'll say it again. Hoodies do well. That's all I got. But I think the lot, what's going to do is this polo shirt is going to, or uh, polo, that sweater is going to take it. I'm uh, I'm hopeful that's going to be the find of the lot. Problem with hoodies is I would want to keep most provided our kids didn't jack them first. Yeah, some of the hoodies, the nice ones that sell really fast are really comfortable, especially the Under Armour's. Go Chargers, take down the Patriots. That's going to be a good game. Uh, Darren, I hopefully you saw the video. I have a ton of Chargers hats now. Uh, do jerseys uh, sell if they have a random name on it? Steven, I did pass up a jersey. Uh, it was either it was a no-name player or someone embroidered their own. Depending on the buy, buy price for the jersey, uh, if you get it for a dollar or two, I would chance it, um, depending on the condition of it. Uh, they could. I don't see how it would. You might hold on to it longer. But uh, if you're getting in a lot, a larger lot of items, and you have, uh, it's basically all profit. Maybe try it. How's that fur sweater going? Fur sweater. What fur sweater? What fur sweater? I sold a cable knit sweater for sixty five. Ma, you remember that blue cable knit sweater? I sold that cashmere sweater for sixty five dollars. It went to Belgium. Through GSP. Uh, check the, Craig's saying check the name on the no-name jersey. I would just make sure it's a player, not somebody. Like it, I didn't put my name on the back of the jersey. The black fur. Oh, the black fur. No, that did not sell yet. I still have two watchers on it. it the det detached old black fur on the neck. Yeah, that hasn't sold yet. Still watchers. Chiefs go to the Super Bowl. They've been pretty good. I'd be, I'd be uh, surprised to see them go. That'd be that'd be fun to watch. Um, all right, so goals for the night. I'm going to try and do a liquidation video. We'll see. Uh, it was a late night last night. Um, I'm going to get stuff listed. I'm going to list all those hats. And what's nice is I have one, two, three, four unique hats, four listings, 89 quantity, which is awesome. Now, what's not so awesome is if they don't sell. Uh, so that's, what's great about multi-quantity. I'll say it again. Multi-quantity is awesome. Sell any of the camo, uh, Hardy Dick's flipper. I sold two of them, one on Poshmark and one locally. 
I still have 28 to go. I think I had 30 of them. Uh, very slow. I might drop the price to 20 bucks locally. Uh, I'm okay with it. I'll eventually sell. But yeah, two. That's it. And only two of my 400 uh, Todd Gurley shirts. So I'm hoping uh, once he gets back in the field or, I mean, the market's pretty saturated for those. Uh, I'll be good for a little bit. He didn't sign an extension for a couple of years. <laughs> Source from Paradise. What Facebook groups do you post locally to? Uh, there's a couple local to Dublin and Hilliard, Ohio that I post to. Otherwise, I, I post local to city, my cities only. I don't do anything else. Uh, so, and then Facebook Marketplace, and that's about it for locally. Like the heavy stuff, like the scale. Uh, I have two more things. One, two, one, two, four more things to post from the last liquidation lot I showed you. So I had to get those tested. Uh, this Remington Lithium, I got to get that tested, and I got to get this Pivot Pro tested. Uh, otherwise, that liquidation lot's pretty good to go. That massager, when it sells, will uh, put me in the profit. So that liquidation lot worked out really well. Got a T-shirt that has eight watches and over 100 views. Nice, Greg. All right, guys. That's all I had. That's what I bought today. Stay tuned for the liquidation purchases. I keep you posted on the stuff that sells here. Uh, before we leave... Let me just make sure if something sold that, uh, oh, they declined my offer. Uh, if you remember, I did sell the uh, women's soccer Chicago Red Stars hoodie, sold that for 25 sold one of my Columbus Blue Jackets random practice jerseys for 24 And last thing, before you head out and hit the like button, this is a bolo item. It's called a Cosmic Catch toy. I picked it up from the bins. It's supposed to come with paddles that you wear in your hands. Uh, you can test it and put batteries in it. It will play noises. That's what it looks like. It's probably about that big if I had to. It's like the size of a melon. Uh, I making a feeling on the outside. So that's the bolo from the bins or thrift store. Easy money. All right, guys. At Ma, I'm actually out of vitamin C again. So I got to get some more of that. All right, guys. Have a great night. Talk to you tomorrow. Stay tuned for liquidation. It's coming. Tomorrow night, we'll have more thrift hauls, and then we'll do some codes next week. See ya.